This video will illustrate the recommended practices for using the GF rotary peelers on PE pipe. GF peelers are available for all common IPS sizes, from 1 and a quarter IPS to 12 inch IPS, as well as some DIPS sizes. This video demonstrates the cleaning, marking, and peeling process used to install a 2 inch electrofusion coupling. A similar process is used for all EF couplings and reducers. First, check to see that the pipe meets ovality and outside diameter specifications. If ovality is out of spec, reround the pipe with a full encirclement clamp. If the OD is undersized, move a few inches away from the pipe end and remeasure. You may be witnessing toe in. If toe in is the culprit, remove a short segment of the pipe's end. If you're unfamiliar with either of these terms or cure options, consult the installation manual referenced later in this video. Once pipe is confirmed to be within appropriate specifications, mark the pipe to be peeled as shown. Note, we're making two marks end-to-end -end that are just longer than the two coupling lengths. Wash this entire area with clean water and a cloth, removing visible dirt, rock, gravel, and drilling fluid residue. Allow the pipe to air dry or dry with a clean cloth. Now, clean the pipe end to the full coupling depth, the first mark from the end, with 90% or greater isopropyl alcohol, or acetone if required by state code, towelettes or like strength and composition alcohol, and a clean lint-free or low-lint cloth. Be careful not to drag the marker ink into the fusion zone with the alcohol wipe. Allow the alcohol to dry. Use the Marksman 007 to scribe the pipe as shown. This tool removes just under seven thousandths of the pipe wall and gives the operator a visible indicator to confirm that the minimum peel depth is reached. Now, use the permanent marker to color in each of the scribe marks. Follow that by making a random series of markings around the diameter of the pipe as shown here. While waiting for the marker on the pipe to dry, we recommend that you clean the bearing surfaces on both sides of the peeler with alcohol towelettes and make sure that each bearing rolls freely. Also use a wipe to clean the cutting blade and make sure the cutter's spring-loaded piston mechanism moves in and out as shown. Now open the GF peeler. Note the arrow cast into the side of the peeler. This indicates the direction you'll turn to advance the peeler. Note how this operator positions the peeler cutter close to the end of the pipe. He then reverses the peeler to properly set the blade at the pipe's end. If peelers are placed too close to the end of the pipe, you may notice that in the initial advance, the peeler's bite will taper the end, as illustrated in this short segment. If this occurs, remove the peeler, cut off the tapered segment, Reclean with alcohol and begin the peeling process again. Once the peeler blade is properly placed, turn the peeler clockwise until the area to be peeled is covered. You'll note that on this operator's first attempt, he left a remnant of the marker on the end and in the scribe marks. If this occurs, repeal the entire surface as shown here. To avoid this issue in the future, you may want to replace the blade. The final step shown here is the operator marking the finished stab depth of the coupling. The other side of the joint is a duplicate. Having the final stab depth marked assures that the coupling is in proper position before the fusion process begins. This video does not show the use of the GF peeler on sidewall applications, but it's very similar to the steps shown here. The primary difference is marking and washing. GFCP recommends that the operator use the sidewall fitting on the desired fusion location of the pipe while the fitting remains in the protective plastic bag. Then, use the marker to mark the pipe just beyond the outer edge of each side of the fitting. Move the fitting one width to the right and one width to the left and mark the main on either side of the previous marks. These three fitting widths indicates the area to be washed with water. The center of the marks will be cleaned with alcohol and peeled. You can find this illustrated in our video on installation of EF sidewall fittings. 
One additional note, if the work area is tight and clearance on the peeler becomes an issue, the black knobs on the GF peelers can be temporarily removed to reduce the peeler's profile. Congratulations, you've completed the GF peeler tutorial. For more information on the use of these peelers, please consult the GF Rotary Peeler Operation Manual shown here. And for comprehensive instructions, please refer to the EF Installation Manual or for more information on George Fisher's Central Plastics EF Fusion System and the assembly of components, visit our website at centralplastics.com. Additionally, hands-on training can be scheduled via the website or by contacting your local GF representative.